Hi guys, my name is Joa. Welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and bring you along on my motherhood journey. So, I recently rented a dress for my birthday, and I thought that I would share with you what my experience was of renting something fashion related for the very first time and also at the end of this video I'll also share with you what my kind of pros and cons are and then also some tips for if you decide to try the world of fashion rental for yourself. So I'm sure that all of you watching this video have probably heard of um, fashion rental. It's quite a new phenomenon, not super new, but I think it's really sort of started to gain momentum over the past couple of years. Um, and really it's just these platforms that give you the option of renting an item of clothing, an accessory, a bag, a pair of shoes, whatever you want. You can rent it for a period of time, pay that person whatever amount that they have put against it um, and that item is yours for the weekend, for a week, for a month, whatever you decide and then obviously you have to return it afterwards. So for my birthday I decided that I was going to try this out for the very first time. Um, a friend of mine, Chi Chi, I will link her channel down below because she has some videos about this as well but she really kind of got me into considering fashion rental. It's not something I'd ever tried before. I had actually heard quite a lot about it but I don't know why, I just never really kind of like considered it for myself, um, but she had used it before and just gave such a good review that I thought I really had to try it out for myself. So the dress that I intended um, to rent, I actually had wanted to rent this when I went on holiday earlier in the year and I just wasn't organised enough to sort it out, so I didn't. So I decided I was going to rent it for my birthday. Um, so I kind of had in mind exactly what it was that I wanted to wear and the app that I chose to use was by rotation. I'd heard quite a lot about it, um, had a look, a bit of a browse on YouTube and it just sounded like a really good option. So I downloaded by rotation, you make an account on there where you just tell them, really I think it's just like your name and just a little bit about what kind of things you're looking um, to rent in terms of what brands you like or yeah what aesthetic that you kind of feel your style fits into and then you also share some other things like whether you smoke whether you have pets in your household because I guess for other people renting to you those are things that they would also like to consider um, so you fill out all of that detail create your profile and then you can just browse on the app you can search by designer, by size, for what you would like to rent. So as I said, I went in there with a very clear idea of what it was that I wanted. So I wasn't really browsing on the app for different things, but I knew that I wanted to wear this dress from Rataboa. I was open to wearing other dresses from them because I just love the brand, really wanted to try it out. So I was quite focused in my search. Um, so I'll put up on the screen kind of how the app looks and how easy it is to browse just so that you get an idea of what that's like if you haven't used it before. Um, and the sellers are able to decide how much they're gonna sell that item to you for. So it really is a case of shopping around because you will see the same thing listed at very different prices. Um, so what is really good is that you can message the seller, ask any questions about the item, about the sizing, about the fit. Obviously bear in mind, it's people's opinion that they're sharing. So it's a question of how much you wanna take that. Um, but you have to like, just ask the right questions and anything that you're unsure about. And obviously as it was my first time ever using it, I just had a few questions about how the whole process works. And I have to say, I probably messaged like three or four sellers that were selling the same dress. Um, because I wasn't sure if they were going to get back to me so I like messaged everyone and everyone came back to me everyone was really really friendly really helpful so I don't know if that's just the app but I really felt that people were really nice about it um, but in the end I found one seller that I definitely felt I wanted to rent from she didn't initially get back to me right away but she did have her Instagram linked on the app so I went to Instagram and DM'd her there and then she got back to me right away so I would recommend that if they have their Instagram linked if it's urgent if you've left it to the last minute like I did then you can just go into that and then DM them and they might get back to you quicker so she got back to me really quickly um, and her she actually had her own rental platform called Loan the Look so in the end, I rented my dress through Loan the Look rather than by rotation, um, simply because it was cheaper to do that. Her platform had less 
like extra fees added. So I will add onto the screen because I don't remember off the top of my head, but by rotation, have a couple of additional fees that you just need to bear in mind when you're searching because that took me by surprise because the way the items are listed, it will say 10 pounds a day, 15 pounds a day, whatever it is, and then potentially a price for a week or however the minimum contract is. So the minimum for most people was three days. But when I went through to select the item, there's then a cleaning fee, a postage fee, I think just like a buy rotation fee. So it actually added up to quite a lot more than I had initially been expecting. So that would be something that I would just say to be mindful of when you're looking. But when I rented through Loan the Look instead, I found that the fees were much less. So I paid to rent the dress for three days, I paid £43 for the actual rental and then I paid £8 for the delivery on top of that and then I guess the other fee that I need to consider is that I will obviously pay the postage back to return it. So I felt for the dress that I wanted to order it was a really good price. For this particular dress I believe retails for about £250 and I had initially been considering buying it because I just thought it's such a beautiful dress but I thought realistically, I'm gonna wear this dress once or twice. Um, and so that's why I just felt the rental process really, really made sense for a situation like this. Um, but yeah, so I agreed the price with her, gave her um, my details, she sent me an invoice. It was all over email at this point. I paid the invoice and then she asked me which address I'd like to send it to. She sent it, I think that day or maybe the following day and I received it the day after. So when you are selecting how long you want to rent it for, um, you just calculate that from the day that you would like to receive it. There's a calendar there you have to put in the day that you'd like to receive it and the day that you intend to send it back. Um, and those were the details that I filled out before she gave me the price and I like sent her the payment and all of that. I then received the package the following day, which was in this really nice silver envelope with a note as well, which was really lovely. And this is the dress that I rented. So it's a bit creased because it's been in this bag, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This animal print, um, like a tiger print, but what I really like about it is this kind of watercolour effect, just the way that the colours are painted on. It's really painterly, which I absolutely love. It's a maxi dress and I'm quite tall, so I'm 5'9.5". Um, and this was like floor length, a little bit short of the floor once I had heels on. So absolutely stunning. Um, it's a silk slip dress or a silk mix. Um, it, when I took it out the packet, I did feel like it was a little bit sheer. Um, I don't know if you can really see that on camera, but it does look a little bit sheer, but when I put it on, it wasn't sheer at all. So it was absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, it was just really simple, really easy. I received this on the Friday. I was going out on the Saturday. So I wore this on Saturday evening um, and we went away for the weekend. So we came back yesterday and then I have to return this today, so Monday. So I just wanted to show you guys before I return it. Um, but it was a really seamless process. And I think it's definitely something that I would consider doing again, particularly for a special occasion. I think it's a great opportunity to be able to like try out a different brand, have the chance to wear a more luxury brand as well. And I guess that for me is the real pro of it, is being able to try out a completely different brand, a brand that you might have admired or a brand that you love, but you don't own anything from there. And that's how I felt about Rat and Boa. And then also, Obviously there's the environmental aspect of it. Like I could have bought a dress. What I paid to rent this, I probably would have bought a high street dress for around that price, like say a dress from ASOS or somewhere. And likely because it's a dress for an occasion, I would have worn it once or twice. And then I either would have put it in charity or tried to sell it or something like that. So I think from that sustainability aspect, it's great. But also just as someone who loves fashion and wants to experience different brands, I think it's just something that I would really recommend to someone to just try out. I think it was so easy um, 
for me to set up the rental to receive the item now I just need to return it and I got the chance to wear an incredible dress that I think even in photos and everything it looks amazing and I'll put up some pictures here so that you can see um but really got the chance to experience something completely different rather than just wearing another high street brand so I think this basically makes fashion really accessible um, to anyone and a lot more affordable, which I am always in favor of. But I would also consider renting my own dresses and my own kind of like luxury items. I don't think I would rent any of my bags. I don't think I would rent a bag. I don't know why, I just don't think I would want to rent that to someone else personally or any of my shoes. But there are loads of people that do and there were loads of options on the website. But I would definitely, in terms of clothing, consider renting those out. And it's something that I would factor into a luxury purchase in terms of the cost of it. Because I did think to myself, if I've paid 50 pounds to rent this dress, if I had bought it full price, um, I would have had to rent it out like six times to basically the dress will have paid for itself by that point. So it's definitely something that I'm going to consider. I have actually tried to set up um, renting some of my items on by rotation, but I had a bit of an issue with the app. So if that's resolved by the time I put this video out, then I will put up my details for my by rotation so that you can check out my wardrobe on there. But it's definitely something that I'll be considering in the future. And it's probably going to be the way that I'm going to justify some luxury purchases in the future as well. Because if I can rent them out, they're going to pay for themselves. It's a no-brainer. Why would I not do that? I'm definitely going to be doing it. So yeah. In terms of the cons of using a rental service, I think really the only thing that I can think of other than the fact that you don't get to keep it. So it's like, I absolutely love this dress. I would love to be able to keep it. So that is a bit of a con. But really, I think the other con or something to just bear in mind is that if you're buying um, from a brand that isn't the sizing of the country that you live in, so say it's an American brand and you're in the UK, it's American sizes, or it's alpha sizing, so it's extra small, small, medium, large. On the Buy Rotation app in particular, it only allows the sellers to list the size in UK sizing. So I found when I was looking for this dress, Rat and Boa sizing is extra small, small, medium, large and sellers were listing the dress as a size 8 or a size 10 but when I messaged them and asked them what does the size on the label say it was an extra small and according to the size chart on Rat and Boa that is not a size 8 or it's not a size 10 sorry so I think just bear that in mind I would recommend messaging the sellers if the sizing looks a bit different as in terms of what they're listing it as to what you know the sizes to be on the brand's website, then definitely just ask them what is the size on the label. A lot of the sellers are really good and do put that in the description. The person who I selected it from did put it in the description, but I would definitely recommend asking them. One seller was really lovely and sent the pictures, sent me pictures of the dress on her so that I had an idea of what the size was, how it looked on an actual body because some people do use the model images as their image on by rotation so it was just really helpful to see it on another person um in like a not a model experience so it was just like her at a wedding and it really gave me an idea of like okay she's roughly the same size as me this is how the dress fits on her how do i want it to fit on me what is the size on the label utilize the sizing charts that are on um the brand's website rat and boa had a really good quiz for you to use to see okay this is like do you have a bigger bust a bigger waist bigger hips and it basically calculates what it recommends your size to be and then the other thing that I did was just to look on YouTube I looked at reviews of people wearing either this dress or another dress from Rat and Boa a similar silhouette like a slip dress um, who looked like a similar size to me or they said they were a similar size to me and I just looked at what size they purchased. So that's something that you do have to bear in mind because obviously I was a little bit worried that I could run the risk of ordering the dress, receiving it, it doesn't fit, I can't wear it and I've still had to pay for it. So that is a bit of a con with the whole service. But the other way of getting around that is to use another service like her. They have a... Um, 
and Aryan Selfridges and I believe they also have their own standalone store so you can actually go in there and try things on and then decide what to rent so if you are really worried about that that's another great option um, and the site that I use Loan the Look they have a, um, a showroom in Notting Hill as well in London that you can go and try things on I didn't have time to do that because I'm not organized enough um, but it just gives you that option so that you don't have that worry if you're trying out for the first time. So my other tip would just be to, as I said before, message the sellers beforehand. So that's something that I would definitely say really helped me, but just any questions that you have, message them first and also just bear in mind that they may have their own kind of rules so one of the girls that i had intended to order from initially she said that in december she's running at a weekly minimum so she wouldn't allow me to rent the dress for like three days she wanted to it to be rented for seven so in the end it just worked out much cheaper for me to go with someone else so just having those conversations up front just gives you the option to ask any questions that you want and make sure that you don't have any nasty surprises that can end up costing you any more money. Okay guys, that's it. I really hope this video was helpful. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried out fashion rental before or if it's something that you will consider after watching this video. If you have already done it before, please let me know down below what your experience was like and whether or not you would do it again. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you'd love to see more videos like these, please do subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as part of the family. Love to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.